Hello, this is uh, Derek again and uh, doing a little job here that you might be interested in is uh, getting a, trying to get a broken stud out of a, a GX 160 Honda engine what's happened, um, I don't know how it's happened is but um, the stud's broken it's broken way below see the, it's actually half, it's broken half an inch below the surface of the um, face of the cylinder here if this was sticking up or if it was level if it had broken off level or it was sticking up a little bit then what I would do was try and knock it round or I'd be able to centre pop the centre and drill it or even put a nut over the top and weld through the centre into the stud but because it's so far down I can't get to, to see the centre where my centre pop is just to, to pop it in the middle and then drill it and if you drill this off centre to start with then you're in trouble because it'll always be off centre and if your drill runs down between the side of the stud and the aluminium then you really are in trouble you'd be scrapping the board because you'd never be able to get it out because once you've driven in, drilled into this soft aluminium the drill will always go that side so it's important to get the drill dead centre first time if you can get it dead centre you've got half a chance of getting it out either get it with an easy out or once you've drilled it you can drill it and tap it but you've got to get it dead centre first of all the idea is going to be is to where it's below this this is the stud here and that this is the the, uh, the block what I'm going to do is I want to drill the centre there get it dead centre but I'm not trying to drill it with a little tiny hole I'm going to put a fairly big drill in first to try and take some of this material out so it's like a funnel so my little drill will, go, will tend to go right in the centre so I'm going to put a fairly big one in first so I think it's about a 6 milli. get like a cone out of the centre like a big V out and then the little drill will hit the centre now because I can't see the centre of this hole I can't put a centre pop in and it's not broken off the, the stud's not broken off uh, square like that it's broken off a little bit like that so the drill could wander about wherever it wants to go so you're not going to get the you know if you start to put the drill in it it's that bit there it's going to be drilling off centre if the drill gets down over here then you're in real trouble so it's important to get that drill down there first so what I'm going to do is put a tube in there with a hole in the centre and I'll drill the hole with a, with a drill the same size so that's like a guide so the drill is going to go in there go down the centre of this tube and then that in theory should hit the dead centre once it's hit dead centre just take a bit out get it get this squared off so it'll be like that then a little drill should get in the middle after that so that's the theory anyway what I'm using is um, this is it's one of these extensions you can fit um, when you get a little screwdriver bits in and you put them into uh, like a little extension like that it just so happens this bit is a dead fit for that hole there's a hole in the top of it it's just to take um, like a, a centre of flute so there's a, there's a quarter of an inch where there's no threads in and it just so happens it's a dead size for that so what I've done I've put a drill down the centre and I've drilled it out right, so I'm going to knock that into there then I'm going to put my drill down the centre and hopefully it dead centre that uh, that screw at the bottom so I'll let you know how I go on right I've fitted this um, this tube in I've knocked it in it's a nice tight fit uh, packed all the centre of the bore up and all these holes just opened up here so swarf can't get down and I'm going to drill put the drill down the centre and just take a cone 
if I can out of the screw. I'm not trying to drill it out at this point, I'm just trying to level the screw off. Let's see how I go on. I'm trying to do this one handed up to you get the gist of it. That's it, that's it, the screw at the bottom, so the drill's got to be dead centre now, it's going to be down the centre of this tube. Right, I've drilled it out, I just made a start now, and uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it, it's, it's been successful. I've, I've drilled it in the middle, and the drill has hit the dead centre of that screw. It's put like a little dimple right in the centre. Like I said, I'm not trying to drill it out with that drill at this time. I'm just trying to make it as so there's a little indentation like that. So what I'm going to do now is put a small drill in. And that small drill, because it's, it's, uh, it's concave like that, the drill will hit the dead centre of it. It won't wander off. So that, that's the next process. Right, I've got the drill. That's my drill in there. You can see that's after the drill's in. So that's the whole. That's all that's clear. So I can't be far off being right through to the bottom there. We'd be better if I can go right through it. Can't be far. Right, I've broken through the uh, the drill. I don't know if you can see this or not. I've got the hole slightly off centre, slightly off centre. Right, this no, I've broken through the drill. I've got the full length of the stud. I've got a hole, so I've got a hole right down the middle. So I've drilled a hole right down the centre of that stud and I broke out into the bottom there. There's a couple of things I can do from here. I can try to get the stud out with a, some kind of an easy out or I could drill it out and re-tap it and if it's not successful then I can put a helicoil in. That's uh, drilling the, the hole oversized and putting a, a thread in. It's, uh, it's like a spring, you screw it in and it puts the thread back in. I'm going to try and get the stud out first. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to try and do it. Right, I don't have any easy out, so what I'm going to do, I've, got, I've done this before, it's not a great method, it's not a good engineering practice. What I'm going to do is put a tang of a file down the centre there. And I'm going to use a tang of a file because it's it's a wedge shape like that. Oh, that's a shocking person. It's wedge shape and it's quite hard. So if I just tap it in the top, these ends here will bite into into this uh, thread, this drilled hole. But I don't want to hit it in too hard. It'll spread this and make it even tighter. So I'm hoping that if I knock that in, so I can grip it, that it'll turn itself out. If it doesn't, then I'm going to heat up this. With the um, with the map gas to expand the alloy just enough to get it out. That's the theory. So. Right, this is the file I'm going to use because it's got a it's got a taper on and it's got some fairly sharp edges on and they're quite hard these, so it'll tend to bite into the screw. When I put it in there, I'm just going to slightly tap it into that hole, and hoping it'll come out. Now. You don't want to be hitting a file with a hammer because these are these are as hard as hell, they're brittle and everything. So I don't want it flying. So I'm only going to gently tap it. It's not good engineering practice, but I've used it before and it's been successful. So I'm going to give it a go. See how we go on. Right, looks like we might have a bit of success here. I've just tapped the end of the file in, just gently, not not nothing hard. And I'm turning it, and it feels like it's coming out. It was coming, it's just stopped. I think. It's 
just tap, tap it in again. Right, I'm just going to tap this on the end. That's the way to do it. There you go. And that's how you get the broken stud out. See that the hole is slightly off centre, even though I'd, I piloted it with that tube, the hole still has not got dead centre. But it's not touched the thread either. It's not broken through to the thread, so that's come out absolutely perfect. That's to the file with it being quite hard. And it's got sharp edges on here. It's got in there, and it's. I've only tapped it in. Because it's tapered, it's got it's got in, it's, it's gripped all the sides, but it's not swollen this so it grabs the threads even worse. I'll try and get it off. So there we are. Let's get it in focus. That's the hole right through it. Slightly off centre but it's not touched the thread so that's come out and it's left the hole there it's much better than drilling it and tapping it or putting a heli coil in or whatever it's better if you can get it out the secret is just take your time make sure you don't drill that off centre because if you get between that and this aluminium the drill will always go towards the aluminium you'll end up with a hole over here then you're absolutely knackered that you scrap the engine Okay, thanks for looking. Bye.